Hey guys, welcome back after a long break. Yeah, it's been like a week at least. <laughs> it feels like it's been a lot longer, but um, I had a computer that died on me pretty much entirely. It straight up, my laptop, my old one, straight up won't start up anymore. By the way, you can hit new game. Yes. I believe this game doesn't have dialogue. Actually, do you want to just... Do you want to talk about the game first, or should we talk about computer problems first? This is Machinarium. It's a point-and-click game. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird, adorable game about a weird, adorable machine, and that's literally all I know about it, to be honest. I mean, all I would really say is, you might know this is neither Hamtaro nor uh, Fantasy Maidens, and that's because... His laptop also had our all our videos on it, so those will probably continue. Just yeah, not until he finds a way to get them onto, you know, get them fixed. Yeah, get the data back. Anyway, luckily it's not entirely entirely dead, but it, it's dead enough that like I can't get it past. Basically, it infinitely tries to repair itself and never gets anywhere, and that's like all I can do with it. Uh. So this is a fun thing you can do with him. Interesting, you can grow out his body. We're still missing arms and... Uh, we're still- we, we're missing an arm and a leg from the looks of it. And he just sort of eats things. <laughs> uh, that's your inventory. That's- that's cute and interesting. Now this game... Yep, I am missing an arm and a leg. He wants a teddy. He wants his teddy back. Okay, so that's how. That's basically how dialogue works in this game. Yep. Oh, hey, and they also have a walkthrough book if you ever get stuck. That's useful, though. To be fair, I get the feeling you. I mean, you, I think you've played through this game before. Yep, but it was long enough ago that I can't. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> this eats it like spaghetti. It was long. Okay. It yeah, was long yeah, enough so. ago that I don't, uh, completely remember everything. Alright, alright. So I'm not going to hold you to, like, a super perfect run-through if, uh, we, we ever get stuck. But I think with the both of us here, it should be fine. I will admit, so far I can say, despite the fact that the... <laughs> despite the fact that this game's, uh, areas look a little cluttered, it's... It's a kind of surprising, because it doesn't look like... It, all the items you've needed so far have stood out decently. Which is nice, because i played a lot of point-and-clicks, and I think one of the hardest thing about some point-and-clicks are that if there's a lot on a single screen, sometimes... Like, sometimes you can just straight up miss an item. i played yeah. plenty of games like that. We're going fishing. Oh, I actually didn't realize that. I thought the goal... Oh, and we swung across. I thought the goal was just to swing across, but I get it. We had to have our arm. Yeah, yeah. I guess that would have been bad to not have our arm. Man, this this screen here brings me back. I love this perspective. Isn't it a nice it's... one? Yeah. And there's just this barren wasteland, and then, and then this huge robotic city. This is actually pretty cool. Oh no! Oh. You're a jerk. I know, seriously. I get the feeling that's going to be a reoccurring theme, is that our poor little robot gets picked on. Nor any background sounds, those don't exist. But I'm sure I've but seen can, it before. Can you see what I'll... the puzzle's going to be here? Uh, getting the drawbridge down? Yes. Because, I mean, there's the easy thing. We can't get tall enough to, uh... But the guy's probably not going to want us to do that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Can you lower the drawbridge for us? <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> I don't actually understand why he says no. I mean, the other guy is a robot, too. Maybe he's racist against this specific Look kind of robot. Look at how tiny you can get, by the way. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> that's amazing. 
Um, but, like I was saying just once again briefly, uh, sorry again, everyone. Like, it, it, technically it's not really my fault. Like, my computer died, and I guess there's not much I could do about that. But it's still, it, it just feels bad. I hate, like, not record. I don't want to give anyone the idea that I'm just trying to be lazy and not do anything, you know? Oh, I get it. You have to disguise yourself. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> oh, okay. You know yep. what? So far, I actually like the puzzles in this game. They're, they're like logic puzzles that I can... They're puzzles that I can actually see how they work. They're not, like, complete nonsense like King's Quest can be sometimes. As much as I love King's Quest. Sometimes its puzzles are... <laughs> oh, there's a yeti! You have a sword, but your actual options are throw a pie at it. And that's it. You know. Like, it, it, it's... And there's ones that are more nonsensical than that, for sure. Either way, so we're, we're, we're there. a free spot. Oh, we're not actually there yet? Um, I don't think so. We're missing one little thing, but let's see if it'll let us in anyway. Alright, fair enough. Look, I'm a police bit. Yeah, notice the colors. Uh, hello? Ow. Oh, the col- oh, gotcha. Okay. So the color still isn't quite right. That makes sense. Yep. Here's where to, we're to the point where I don't remember if there's another screen or if I'm just missing something from this screen. I, I don't know, I'm trying to look around. It doesn't look to, like there's much else on this screen that we can interact with. Yep, just the white. I can dunk this again. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's really white. Gotta get it paint covered proper. Let's see. Hmm. See, this'll happen sometime. Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, that, that's something that just happens sometimes. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, there we go. Oh! Uh, I thought that was just a fun thing you could do, but actually, no, it's, uh... Yeah, alright, that's something we actually had to do. Mm. Right. Huh, though I'm Maybe not sure how we uh... combine items. Well, normally you just click them in your inventory, but I think in this case what I need to do is... Put them on and then put it on over, gotcha. No. That's not what I need to do. Hmm... Maybe we need something to apply it? I suppose we do. Question is what? Uh, I don't know. Like, the only other thing that's here is sticks, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh. Never mind. I guess. It's funny. It seemed like you put that in there before. I was standing too far away from it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Now it's a light blue. Okay. Well, as I can tell, I'm probably not going to be very useful in this playthrough. Sorry about that. It's fine. Uh, also, since this game is just fairly innocuous, it's not something I'm doing character stuff for, because... Yeah, and honestly, we rarely do what character stuff... Honestly, we rarely do character stuff past the uh, intro anyway, and I think huh. that's fine. Oh no! Look at him wobble. Look at that oil. <laughs> oh no, dead. Ah, uh, that's pretty adorable. Well, I know we hardly do character stuff mid episode, but like, at the, you know, that, that's part of why I didn't do an intro. I was like, this game seems perfect to just mess around and have fun and talk about whatever. Huh. So we can steal one of the hooks. Well, at least it looked like you did for a second there. Did you put it back? I put it onto the end of the, uh, the other end of the banister. Oh, okay. I get ya. I don't quite get what that does, but... <laughs> hmm. 
How is anyone supposed really to get good, into but it's this? Also really loud. Let me turn that down again. Okay, no problem. There you go. But, uh, as I was saying, the city seems really, really hard to get into. Yes, it does. <laughs> kind of inconvenient, really. I don't know if I'd want to live here. For, I mean, multiple reasons. I see. Here's the situation where we gotta duck down. Huh. So that does an extender thing there. So I'm guessing we have to do it low enough reach up and grab it. Probably. We just saw Maybe. it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's what's wrong. And then maybe number... I'm thinking number two. No, that... Well, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks good to me, right? Alright, sweet. Now we can uh, climb over there and get a... something. <laughs> Looks like a knife. A knife? We're gonna stab a bitch. Machinaria, much more violent than I expected. Yeah, it's a knife. You know, actually, yeah, you're right, it does look like a knife, huh? Curious. Seppuku with it. Well, that's cool. So that's why we put that there. Now we can hit the lever oh. from down here. Okay. Yeah. And if I put the knife on the track... <laughs> Not quite. Uh, no, <laughs> that was kind of amazing. That minecart just died. I don't know why- there, oh, we there we go. Though I'm having, like, Donkey Kong flashbacks here. <laughs> the stupid mo oh, no, we gotta push the thing now from here. Here we go. Whee! But as I was saying, I was having some, like, obviously this wasn't nearly as tough, but I was having some Donkey Kong thoughts there with the fucking minecart. Yep. Hmm. Indeed, we got a oh. robot there. Oh, this guy was a jerk, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. this guy was a jerk to us. <laughs> well, to be fair, like I said, I feel like that's going to be the theme of this game, is that everyone was a jerk. Maybe we should have kept the knife. Like, <laughs> it was useful for this puzzle, but we could have shanked this guy. Well, oh well, I think we'll be able to defeat him in a much more creative and interesting way. Yay! Look over here. That's usually how these point-and-clicks go. One, two, three, four. Okay. You know, I just realized these minecarts are just bathtubs on wheels. Did you notice that? I did. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game is amazing. I ah, there's I get I the feeling the setting will never be explained further, but the setting is actually pretty cool and theoretically pretty depressing. Hmm. All, All right. right. Don't quite get it so far, to be honest, but I'm sure we will. Ah, now I get it. I'm glad you get it, because I don't. Well, I, I, okay, I get the idea. It's funny. I get what the machine does. I don't get what we're supposed to do with it.
So we can do that, then it'll rotate again, and double grab nothing. Hmm. What about if I... What's this do then? To be fair, we also don't have it grabbing anything yet. No, I don't know if we actually need to. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely is interesting. <laughs> I hope you're understanding this puzzle better than I am, though. I still don't get the point of it. I presume it has something to do with this here. Yeah, yeah, probably. Get in the minecart, be picked up by the thing, and brought over the, to the... Oh, okay. Which, the minecart's empty now, so I could get into it. I think. Um, okay, but... so... So we basically need time to do it. So I'm guessing we need one reverse cycle, one grab cycle, and then one reverse cycle. So you think like, uh, like this? Yeah, let's give it a shot. If we can. Sure. I think we're gonna want to shrink down so we move a little faster. He seems to be really slow when he's like, or oh, 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 wait, or is he getting over here before he even starts it? It's kind of interesting how that works. Oh, it doesn't seem to let me get in. Nope. Hmm, so I must be doing something wrong. Well, no, I mean, you have to hit the button to actually get it to, yeah, that button, to actually let it start up. Oops, so. I forgot to... Shrink down. Yep. <laughs> the slowest walk ever. Well, to be fair, I think we're gonna have to wait again now, uh, cause it's, yeah. uh, unless it's gonna grab again, I forget. No. Nope. I think it's... But yes, I forgot, I forgot to shrink down. It's fine, it happens. I mean... I think I want two reverses and a grab, actually. Hmm. Alright, I th just thought we needed a reverse to actually get us going, yeah. You're and right, we did it only a... did need one. Yeah. Because now I think it'll grab us and we're not going to go anywhere. I could be wrong, but that's you know, my we don't assumption. Need to go in. We don't really need to go anywhere, we just need to get up there. Oh, that's the goal? Okay. <laughs> and then he was stuck for all of eternity. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think you're of, right, though. I oh, think you're right. We need to have it spin again. Of course I'm right. I am the green one. I'm always right. Bitch. <laughs> no. Uh, but, I mean, I just felt pretty confident on this one. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Once again, I like this puzzle. It took me a bit of figuring out, because I didn't really understand where it wanted us to go, but it's so cool. <laughs> so don't do that. Well, okay, maybe I was wrong about how that was supposed to work. Uh, luck <laughs> luckily this game does not appear to kill you for the, the King's Quest reasons. Because in, in a lot of point and clicks, that would have been death. I mean, I guess it wasn't really shocking. So, what do we do? Can we extend our body? Nope. Can we use this on the thing? Can we use this on the thing? Can we use this on the thing? <laughs> Can we use it on the ledge? No. Yeah. Strange. See, the thing is, we need to get swung, because notice when it comes around, it's tilted outwards? Yeah. So we maybe, need to swing us, but we don't. We need to not get dropped need here. 
maybe we need it to have uh stuff in it like as weird as that like maybe we need it to have berries inside or something or maybe we need to grab the object and not get in the minecart i'm not sure which either way i i tried both of those all right we'll try it when it's got uh, stuff in it sounds good yeah, Although, if you look at this, salt. it's like... Oh yeah, it see, spin, it's supposed to be spin, drop, spin. It tells you right ah. here. Spin, drop, spin, with an empty cart. Alright. Is so that what we had it on before? It is. What it, which means all we need, what we need to do is figure out some way to uh, not get dropped into here. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's where this gets complicated. Maybe we uh, maybe we can use our item just on the cart somehow, like you know to, to help it, like give us an extra grip or something. I don't know. No, I can tell what this is for. This is for that spot up there. You see the hole? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the hole. Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy enough. I just needed a little bit of extra swing to make the uh, movement. Gotcha. Clearly you had it figured out better than I did. Anyways, puzzle solving, woo. Sorry, everyone, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I feel derpy. Hmm. So, wiring puzzle. I think this should do it. I love how he gets down from things. <laughs> yeah, he just dives off. It is pretty amazing. No. That's not right. No, it isn't quite right, unfortunately. Oh, well... So, um, yeah, I, I think we've discussed it before, but I'm still, for one, this game is still adorable, it just is, you know, it's a bit time consuming, so I'm still super hyped for, uh, getting to Quest for Glory, um, I think I've mentioned this before, mostly because I'm in a lot of nostalgia for that, that game, to be honest, I do like this game from what I'm seeing of it so far, though my only actual experience with it is I, um, I saw a peanut butter gamer video and he mentioned it once. That was like years ago though. Actually, yeah, when there's something there we go. When did this game fixed. come out? Okay, cool. Yeah. So now I see it, it goes out. around the other way, so we get swung this and way. And we can get in. We can hop out here. And murder our rival for daring to be an asshole and ruining our sandcastle. <laughs> so full of murder. I know. I mean, you know, he deserves it. Also, there I see there's spider webs. I guess the spiders still aren't dead in the apocalypse. I think the pair would be very upset about this. Oh, and there they're stealing our lunch money. <laughs> We're nothing suspicious here at all. Yeah. And the officers in this universe suck. Oh no! Right? Oh, no, we've been spotted. Quickly, Machinarian bot, you've got to do the things. Or it could just get put in a closet. So this guy wants to smoke, eh? Does yep. that even do anything for robots? Well, whatever, let's just eat some seaweed. Yep. We need this. Oh. We need this. I already get it. <laughs> and then we put them together. Apparently not yet. Oh. Hmm. Anybody want to get close to our grabby hand? No? Come on, just want to grab someone. 
It's not weird. I don't know, do, can you do anything with the gross toilet? I can do that. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was like, that's fun. But, I don't know, like, it's, I, I, I have to remember, this game is an actual point-and-click adventure. It's not like Putt-Putt, where you can just click on things and they do nothing. They're, except with the birds that one time. You can click on those bird things. I didn't even click on them, I just uh, waved my hand over them. Oh, okay. Alright, then. That's a thing. Yep. You know, I brought this up in another game before. Uh, but this one specifically, and it came up beforehand, but still, it uh, it kind of makes me think of, of Dropsy. I guess that's probably, that's probably where Dropsy got the idea, though, because Dropsy uses the uh, not having dialogue style, you know? Just kind of uses pictures for everything. Fair enough. Though, though I actually I like it here uh, a good bit. I don't know. It it feels like despite the lack of dialogue, there's it's pretty clear what everyone wants. Oh wait, that uh, object we just got. It looks like there's a spot on the floor thingy for it. Yeah, the problem is what I need is something longer. Well, no, but we have a floor thing in our room. Can't you? Yes, try to put it... I tried using it on there, and he just shook his head, cause it, it needs a handle. Watch. Oh. Okay. I. Yeah. yeah. See. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> to be perfectly fair. The, uh, hopefully I'm not cutting out too much. The oh, wait, I know what I need to on and off derpy. Okay, that's good. I, I still know what I'm doing. Oh, the lights. Okay. It's wet, so it won't make a good cigarette yet. Oh. I mean, I still don't know what it is that he wants to smoke. Mark, but... Just shove it in his eye? Jeez. That's pretty metal. <laughs> he just killed his arm. It's amazing. His arm falls off, he just gives it to us. Yeah, I, I love that. He's like, oh, I don't really need it. I, I, I can smoke now. I've got everything I ever needed. <laughs> and these guys are like, no, don't use your gropey magic hand on us. Huh. Oh, well, you we need to figure out what to actually do with our gropey magic long hair. Oh, okay. It's kind of funny that there's just a hole in the wall with, like, nothing in it. There we go. Yeah. And now we have a handle, like you said. Oh, and we just give him his our, hand back. Yeah, our guys are nice like pretty nice. Yeah, I actually thought we... I don't know. I'm, I'm so used to point-and-click games. I already like this game for that. I am so used to point-and-click games where you steal something and it's just yours forever. Like, you know... Let's be cool, you, guys. You still, yeah, that's nice. And see, you're helping other people, too. See, in King's Quest, if you stole somebody's arm to solve a puzzle... Oh, they don't want to come along? Really? They're apparently just scared of you. Um, but like I was saying, I know I bring up King's Quest a lot, but I mean, a lot of point and clicks. If you steal someone's arm to solve a puzzle in most point and clicks, you're not giving it back. I mean, I know that's kind of an extreme example, but even if you just steal someone's book, like, they're never getting that back. Yep. You solve the puzzle and then it's just yours for- oh, hi, jeez. No, that's ours. Oh. Oh, I get it. It's so okay. A hair dryer gun. Curious. And this guy was a jerk too, of course. Dead. 
A lot dead, but we did lose our antenna at one point. Okay, so I'm going to do that sort of because he noticed that. But I mean, as much as it is, it can come off as kind of sudden at times. I actually, uh, that's another thing I'm liking so far. This game doesn't have you carry around, like, hundreds of useless objects. I like that the objects are gone when you're done with them. In my opinion, that's how you should do a point and click, because I think it's just annoying to have an inventory of, like, 30-plus items, and, and like, half of them are never gonna... More than half, usually, are never gonna be useful again by the end game, you know? So, I'm liking this game a whole lot, is, yeah. I guess, what I'm saying. I'm giving it a thumbs up, personally. He can see us trying to grab his dick. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. So we need a way to make him not see us do anything. Yep. We can't get out, because... <laughs> we can't climb out, because he'd see us. We can't uh, grab anything out there, because he'd see us. Huh. So yeah, maybe we need another item or something? That would be my thought. That or I'm just missing, like, a timing cue. I keep feeling like I should be able to do something with this. With the light there. Because it's just sitting there. Can I go back over here and do something? He won't come back out here. And I can't open that anymore. Because the, uh... Bot stole my thing. Oh! And we've lost... the uh, Greenie. But it's the end of the episode anyway, so... See you all next time.